don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell now the AK's first ever Olympic participation has come to an end recorded a no jump in three attempts in the triple jump preliminaries that took place this morning in the Olympic Games our swimmer as well 50 meter freestyle women a swimmer Yuna Listechi 16 year old young woman also was eighth in the heat competition she she came up eighth and unfortunately her time was not fast enough to make it into the semi-final stage nigerian athletes are protesting in the streets of the tokyo we'll be looking at all that today as usual subscribe if you have not and click on the notification bell to get more updates day seven of tokyo 2020 olympic games saw the commencement of athletics yes the 100 meter race 200 meter race short put triple jump a steeple chase and all that it began on day seven of the olympic games and it saw two ghanians coming onto the spotlight on the same day two women Yuneli Stechi there took part in the women's 50 meter freestyle swimming competition. She was in the fifth heat but finished eighth in that fifth heat. And unfortunately, her time was not fast enough. She failed to make it into the semis. But after that was the flag bearer of the Ghana Olympics team, Nadia Eke. She was participating in the women's triple jump which she recorded no jump for she could not make any successful jump in her three attempts and was kicked out knocked out of the competition at the tokyo 2020 dream comes to an end she was part of the team that we were hoping would go further at least the first attempt at the triple jump but it was not to be as she took part in her very first olympics game here in tokyo but nadia Eke is out of the Tokyo Olympics after recording, as I said, a no jump in all three attempts of the women's triple jump events on Friday morning. And Nadia, who is making her very first Olympics appearance at the age of 28, was hoping to make an impression about all three jumps were adjudged illegal for board infringement. Uh, you know the triple jump, when you're jumping, you have to at least hit the white mark. You don't have to go past the white mark to make your jump valid and she did that on three separate occasions the Ghanaian record holder had already indicated her intention to quit the spot after the game about ex back exiting without a single legal jump at her first game uh, would come as a disappointment for the Columbia University uh, graduate Nadia uh, becomes the fifth Ghanaian athlete to exit the games at the preliminary stages following the exits of boxer Shaku Samed who suffered a technical knockout in his boxing game on Thursday. A swimmer Abeku Jackson yesterday he won his second hit but unfortunately wasn't enough. His time was not good enough. Yunelis Techi and Judoka Kojo Ananing. Yunelis Techi talking about her and she was unfortunate also today. She came up eighth in the women's heat that is the fifth heat of the 50 meter freestyle swimming and she was unfortunate to come up eight in that competition it was not enough to see her progress to the semi-finals which would have taken place tomorrow but she did not qualify for it journalist techie as well has failed to make it to the next stage, and that is the end of the road for five of our 14 athletes only two so far have progressed and they are both in boxing it continues tomorrow as well for the Ghana team. They will be looking to make it through by in the 100 meter race and the 200 meter race and the 4 by 100 meter races. Those are the ones we have to look up to now to see how well we can do. Our boxers will also be playing and they will be fighting on Saturday and Sunday early morning the wee hours of the morning and uh, we'll see the boxers as well in action there's still a lot to play for but uh, there's still a lot to look forward to the two boxers and our athletes uh, will take part in their races uh, proper and uh, we we'll hope that they can uh, still keep the flag of Ghana uh, rising high Nigerian athletes were protesting in the streets of Tokyo Japan and it was all because of one reason. According to 
uh, the reports that came in uh, 20 athletes had been disqualified and nigeria uh, formed the greatest majority of those athletes uh, 10 of them from nigeria why uh, the test needed to be run before the olympics game by the authorities was not done in time and they had to be disqualified based on that uh, the report came in that 20 athletes from seven countries are competing in the 2020 olympics had been declared ineligible to participate in the multi-sport event after failing to meet minimum anti-doping testing requirements prior to the game nigeria is the most affected country with 10 of its athletes included in the list a statement from the athletics integrity unit the body created to oversee anti-doping regulations by world athletics said the affected athletes failed to achieve the minimum number of doping tests required to compete in the competition the A aiu explained that under the framework of rule 15 governing national federation anti-doping obligations which came in force in january 2019 national federations are accountable for ensuring appropriate anti-doping measures are in place in their respective jurisdictions among other things the rule sets out minimum requirements for testing of national teams of category a federations deemed to have the highest doping risk and considered as a threat to the overall integrity of the sport the key requirement of rule 15 is that an athlete of a category a country must undergo at least three no notice out of competition tests urine and blood conducted no less than three weeks apart in the 10 months leading up to the major event only then do they become eligible to represent their national team at the world athletics championship or the olympic games for the year 2021 the seven identified category a national federations are belarus bahrain ethiopia kenya morocco nigeria and ukraine and these are the countries that fell short the nigerian athletes took uh, to the streets to protests and to call how really incompetent their leaders were in not making sure that they got the test that they needed to do they see themselves as athletes that could have won medals for nigeria but due to this negligence from their leaders who are supposed to make sure that they got the necessary test it did not happen and they had to be removed from the competition considered ineligible this is quite unfortunate i'm so sorry for these athletes i hope someone gets uh, punished for this it's not supposed to happen so that is it there for today the olympics roundup and uh, later tonight uh, the ghana hazakes ladies will be taking on the as police of niger looking to make it in qualification for the car for women's champions league qualifiers so be waffle so that has been it for today you know least Techi and nadia Eke, unfortunate their road it comes to an end for them in tokyo 2020 the nigerians are protesting i've explained to you why i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day